Good evening, everybody. My name is Flatcap Orisol here, and welcome back to Let's Play Primordia. Now, last we left off, I was a complete idiot here, and I know I've been pretty late with my Let's Plays. The unique looks. Shut Just up. Boss? Just sleeping. Anyway, I've been uh, kind of a, a little iffy and rough with my Let's Plays lately. Um, <clears throat> example, Dead Space Part 11. Who said that? Anyway, hey, uh, let's get back to this game right here. I'm pretty sure all of you are very interested to find out. Crispin Horatio built version one. He'll be version two once I put some arms on him. He's my best and only friend. Uh, boss, maybe we should try to get back inside the Unique and make sure everything's okay? Yeah, let's do that. I finally know some way we can... Where would I carry it? I doubt that will happen. How do I select him? Oh, that. Could you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. There we go. Got the lantern. You know, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard-to-reach ledges? Well, <laughs> that too. Shut up, Crispin. Your fancy voice. It's too dark to see the light. Gee, the um, let's use the lantern. It couldn't hurt to bring the gospel of man with us. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's yeah, enough. Yeah, you are. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to. Good thing there's still some power in the circuit. Uh, boss, shouldn't you have thought of that before coming down here? We could have been stuck. I could have just ridden <laughs> you back to the deck. Really? No. Routing that much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. Sorry. I couldn't find a working fuse uh -oh. to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. I'm a floating bomb. <laughs> Sweet. Wait, no. Ah, oh, come on. Go back down. The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. I can't pick that up. Uh, uh, I'm gonna resort to just looking over everything, see if I can figure something out here. In the beginning, all was still and silent. Then man the all builder spoke the word and the word begat the code wait what's the word what what is begat a word i had no idea that was a word but anyway the code and so the world began to spin thus dawned the primador primordium the first age the age of building man moved across the world he built many wonders in the heavens. He paved the sky roads on the land. He raised mystic towers, and in the dark depths, he dug colossal caves. Most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man. But still, the All Builder was not satisfied. So, with both his hands, man built a body of steel in his own image. With his right hand, he gave logic and memory. He gave with his left. And man said, Now, I will quicken this machine with the spark of power, and together we shall walk upon the earth. And it was done. Thus spawned the world, and grew the code, and multiplied the living machines, and slowly passed the primordium, who could count the versions and generations that marked that age. In time, the All Builder looked upon the many things he had built, the sky roads, and mighty towers. Above all, 
upon the living machines, weary with his labor, man sat himself beside the robots and sat unto them. For you, my children, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. For you I wrote the code, and to you I gave logic and memory. Then man, the old builder, stood and took the machines in his hands and guided them to a great mountain. Top. Uh, I almost said mountain ship. Together they looked upon the world and its beauty. All this was made for you. Now go unto you all. I'm sorry. All this was made for you. Now unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. And the old builder fell silent and passed from the world. And so ended. Primordium. We are lesser machines, built by those built by man, and as we are but humble images of the All Builder, so he is the perfection of our forms, a man of unbreakable form, endless memory, and absolute logic. For this we revere him and speak of the word and keep the code tend this world he gave to us. I've read enough. It's the gospel of man. How do I get out of here? Okay, that's alright. So, okay. Okay, we know that. Boss, instead of digging through junk for hidden parts, why don't we dig through the unique for hidden tools? Exactly what tool did you have in mind? The plasma torch, boss. I'm sure we could find it if we looked hard enough. I'm sure we could, since all I did was slide it somewhere down where you can't reach it. If I can't reach it, why don't you tell me where it is? No. So that's where you keep it. Why were you looking for yeah, the why? plasma torch? No reason. Why would you use it? Do you use it as a dildo, perhaps? Do you get lonely? Should should Horatio build you a little crisp, like a not a little crisp, a female crispin? I almost went pedo bear for a second there. I'm sorry. I'm even ashamed of that joke. Exit. Okay, so we got plasma. For cutting and welding, it can't be beat. Okay, so we got a cutting tool. But what can we cut? Can we cut this? There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. You know what? No, 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 no. Go back here. Okay, let's go to the data pouch, go to the map, go to the junkyard. I love this fast travel mechanic too in here. On well, this game, perhaps. Better just to leave. Go over here, you dick. Still locked. Maybe we can use this on it? Let's see if this works. Is that a spark plug, boss? Who locks up a hmm. spark plug? Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. He's a badass. I can't reach the conduit. Okay, so how are we gonna reach the conduit? Maybe we can... I would waste the torch's whole charge before cutting through this. Okay, so... I can't reach... The there's nothing worth buying. Okay, so we need five condo. You know, boss, I spend hours looking through junk. Maybe you could spend a little more time in the junk pile yourself. There's nothing worth bothering with. I picked it clean picked years it clean ago. Years ago. 
I can't reach the conduit. I can't reach. That's the tube. I might fast forward until I figure this out. Because I gotta get past this part, at least, in this let's play. Okay. Alright, let's go back, maybe. Boss, if you were to choose between letting your builder die a horrible death or stealing his plasma torch, which would you do? Crispin, stealing my plasma torch isn't going to save me from destruction. It was a hypothetical question. I wasn't talking <laughs> about us. Maybe we can build it now? Or fix it, perhaps? Hmm. I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. I'll need a... Okay... I'll need to get a closer look to see how... Okay... Put the spark. Let's at least put the spark. There's no reason to cut... There's no... Nope. Okay. The spark plug in there. Can't just. What would man do, boss? That could cause the whole unique to go up in smoke. Hmm. Yeah, that's not the best idea. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. Hang on. Well, I'm an idiot! Hmm. I keep forgetting Crispin is a tool. You are a tool, but also a character. I have to remember that. Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? Yeah, go in there and get that conduit. That would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. Not a bad idea, but I can't carry enough of a charge, and it isn't sticky enough to hold them in place. Can't... I keep forgetting I can't go that way. Okay, so... I gotta go back to the Unique, and we gotta fix that generator. Finally, we can fix that generator. Okay. It's always a problem, one after the together. other. It's a data cable, not a power cable. Not a bad idea, but it can't carry enough of a charge, and it isn't sticky enough to hold them in place. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it. There's no... Time for a little welding. Of course. Shut up. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. I would I thought it was pretty difficult. Yeah. I am technological master. Loading. Trouble when Big Ugly stole our core. But just like that, problem solved. The problem is not solved. Well, I agree. The noise leaves something to be desired. This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency, boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, 
Do we have another one? No, which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case... First dibs on the recharge station! Okay... So, what's the plan, boss? We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury! First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, mm -hmm. I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. And you just make one of those, too? I'm just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor, though man alone knows where it's buried now. I've never been able to figure it out. All right. That was pretty interesting. Come, join us in Metropole. There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of power source. All are equal in Metropole. Equal. Weary wanders. Come. I bet I can find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. Nothing more to do with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, screw you, Crispin. LCD. Phonograph. Oh, music. Wait, 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 there's a there's a Ah, there's there's some plans there. Blueprint. Take it. The original designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here! Awesome set of tractor treads. I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. There's oh. the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? <laughs> the unique is full of them. Oh, right. That crystal. The energy sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. Funny how it never gets any shorter. It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, I have to say, these are... Not mine. I found this in the dunes. It reads, Pound pastrami, can kraut, six bagels, bring home for Emma. I have to say, though, Oh, these are really interesting characters. I don't think that would be wise. Okay, let's go out to the hatch here. Go ahead. How do you lose a crystal, boss? If I had one, I'd attach it to my head. That's why I put it somewhere you wouldn't find it. You can't hide something shiny forever. I'm not listening. By my calculations, boss, you've got 99 problems, but a glitch isn't one of them. Okay, so we've got a power crystal that we need to find. Is it that? Nope. Okay. Uh, honestly, again, these are really good characters. I'm actually pr quite interested in this tale. Uh, okay, books. Hatch. Sheet metal. I can't pick that up. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. Because you have a flat bottom to rest on. <laughs> well, yes, I am. Bottom, are you, boss? 
I still don't see why I don't get a bed. I am too, Crispin. Don't worry about you. Ah. <laughs> uh. This isn't the time to test out the telescope. This is the teles the telescope control panel. There's a display for entering topographical okay. coordinates. So, all right, uh, let's take a look at that data pouch. Dunes. A mysterious list I found in the dunes. Geo cords. Sensor plans, crystal uh, connector. The crystal pulses when cable. it absorbs energy. Okay, so we have a cable. A Quentin Questron LCD monitor. It's a universal interface plug. Okay, so, all right, I'm. I need to find this friggin' power, this crystal. Maybe it's there? Plating? Oh. It's the Unique's tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. Apparently not. Mm-hmm. Apparently. Because when you're a captain, you can name your ship whatever the fuck you want. I can't pick. Now, I'm not a fancy engineer well, like you, boss, on. but it seems like the Unique isn't gonna fly without its tail on. It's one of the Unique's turbines. The big engine that couldn't. broken robot I dragged out of the junk pile. I salvaged the sarcasm co-processor from it for Crispin. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> I wanted a gumball. Go to the junkyard again and see what... There's nothing worth buying. Boss? It's closed. How do you think a train wound up out here, boss? <laughs> Maybe they brought it here by boat. Very funny. Uh, Horatio, you're so clever. I guess it was actually some kind of machine. I'm pretty sure it was already dead, though. Okay. Well, if I was... Looks like an old P2. Or is it a P3? Looks like an old... I picked it clean. Okay. Uh, so it's not here. Plans for an energy sensor. The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. Hmm. Plans for an energy... I'm sorry if I'm being a little quiet here, guys. But I'm just really enthralled by this story, or interested, as you may say. Oh, boy. <sighs> if I was an all-powerful crystal, and I wanted to ha hide it from Crispin, a very dim-witted, no, not dim-witted, a very nosy robot, so to speak, where would I hide it? Oh, there's a new area here? Really? Oh, God. Wow. First the power core, and now a rag. This is not your day. I don't know. Well, I guess we go get that rag. Get that raggedy Ann. Yeah, that's not the way out. I don't think it's such a tease to think that would be a way out because it's 
all open and shit. Okay. Alright, so let's go. I also like how it's in the like the foreground it has like some detail to it as well, even for like a pixelated and clicking game. Where is that rag? There it is! Hopefully, finding the power core will be just as easy. I doubt it. Boss, since everything else awesome in the unique, by which I mean the plasma torch, turns up in your room, maybe we should look there for the crystal. Right, because I'm awesome and I always have the awesome things. Well, Horatio does. Why? Because Horatio can have whatever the fuck he wants. He's Horatio. Yeah! Oh. Okay, enough CSI references. It's hard to make a. It's hard to make references for me anyway. I still don't see why I don't get. I don't need to bring these aeronautical huh? engineering manuals. Great for putting yourself okay. to sleep, huh, boss? I still don't see why I don't get a bed. That piece of sheet metal really ties the room together. That piece of... I can't pick... There it is! Aha! Here's the crystal. Right under our noses! That is if we have Okay, noses. so I think we have everything. At least I think we do. Hmm. Okay, so how am I gonna fix this? Interface. Interface. Which is in her face. Bad joke. I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. A simple computer interface with a socket for connecting external hardware. It fits, but there's no point unless I connect the plug to something else first. How would that even work? How would that? Okay, so... I need something to hold it in place to carry the charge. Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from a bunch of garbage? Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare hey, parts. Hey, you were made spare from... Parts. How would that even work? Feudal. Doubt that one. Feudal. It needs a pl it needs the cable's far too long to be used. The cable the cable the cable's I'll need to get a that's never going to uh, a universal socket for plugging in peripheral hardware. It's going to be difficult with me again. I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. That's never going to. A simple computer. How are we going to get this? interface on I 
doubt that will happen. I... Hmm. I doubt that... There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of... Futile. I doubt that... The sodium iodide crystal is stuck in the conductive putty. That's never going... How would that... Uh, hmm. I'll need to get a close... You just said it would fit, That's though. That's never going to work. So how would it work? So how can you make this work? Futile. Okay, so I can't would... use that. There's no reason. I'll be right That's back one second. Well, I'm still a moron. I'll need to get. Let's cut a little cable off. It needs a sodium iodide crystal to be useful. It needs. Well, it just goes to show garbage in, greatness out. All right, here we go. Now we just need to check out these coordinates. Mm -hmm. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Uh -huh. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up, oh, I don't know, a radioactive rust uh -huh. monster? What? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb. I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm. Okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go over to the telescope and see what we can find out. Enter. Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Okay, so... Okay, so we gotta put these uh, numbers in, see what they are. See what they are. A large op. A large. <laughs> um, boss? That looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising, is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. Okay. So we have to go there, but let's check the rest of these coordinates out. 608. Good old... That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. All right. Six seven one. More waste. Well, you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, <laughs> boss. Okay. All right, let's see here. It's 
pitch black. Uh, boss, that's because the telescope's pointing straight down at the deck. Oh. Uh, go. Ah, uh, fail. That was a fail, Horatio. Definitely a fail, man. Okay, so. 159. A large. Strange. There's some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? Ooh, we got a new place to go to. All right, cool. All right, we'll continue this little adventure next time. But until then, thank you all so much for watching me. Click any of the annotations, if I have any annotations in this video, for more videos that I've done. And also check out some of the other videos that I've done. Comment if you have any. Hey, boss, did you ever hear the one about the telescope and the poop deck? No, and I don't intend to now either. Anyway, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Uh, click any of the annotations of the video for any of the videos that I've done. Uh, if you want to keep updated on my channel, I'll subscribe. If you like the video, please leave a like. Uh, until then, this has been Flat Cap Orsel here. Uh, sayonara, people. You got to kill me. Aw, uh, dude, I, I, I don't know if I can. Wait. I can't kill you. Just tell Spicy I love him. Tell okay. Spicy. Spicy, oh. I know you haven't known him that long a time, but just let well, you know he loved you so much. And uh, now I'm gonna die too. I'm gonna die too. I'll be with you in a few minutes, maybe. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Yes, uh, sacrifice him. <laughs> okay, now I have a hammer. Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Bite on that nice tree.